Hi guys, about some two years ago, we did a series of study on IFA. It was called the IFA series, but many of you were not here then, so now we have brought it back in even better ways. We are currently in the Gerando Center for Yoruba Culture and History. It is majestically sitting in Lagos Island, the eighth wonder of the world. If you haven't visited here, then please put it on your bucket list. We are in the IFA section, or one of the many IFA sections of the museum. And right here, what you're looking at are what we can call the IFA sacred paraphernalia. In this study, we want to talk about IFA divination or IFA consultation. What we mean when we say IFA dida or dida IFA. Figoni babala wonshe, loju okpon IFA. What you're looking at right here, this one, the round one, is the IFA divination tray. We can call it the IFA divination tablet. It can be rectangular and it can be circular, just like this one. On it is the Okpele. Okpele lu yoton lu da kundele. Adia fun perigede tin shomo ye ye ujumo. Just beside it is what we call Agirifa. Agirifa is where we put the Ikinfa. Ikinfa is what we'll be talking about mainly in this video, so you're going to understand it better very soon. The Ikinfa are the 16 sacred palm knots. And because of the sacred nature of that um, item, we put it in the Agirifa. It's a very sacred. All of these items you're looking at are Urusha in their own right, but we shall be getting into that very soon. Right here, what I'm pointing out is what we call Irokeifa. It can also be called Irofa. The Oriki is Okesheribiti. Shuri show show. And that, you know, is um, referring to the conical shape of the thing and how that its apex is pointing. Babalawos hold this one. It is more like the symbol of a Babalawo. Whenever you see a person holding this, just know that the person is a Babalawo. While consulting Ifa or while um, performing divination, he can use this to tap the divination tray. And by doing so, it is believed that he is inducing Ifa into a listening mode. That is one of the many functions of the Iroke Ifa. But, you know, generally it is used as a mark of identification. Just as when you see Shere in the hands of a person, you know that that's a Shango devotee. Or when you see Oshe in the hands of a person, you know that that is a Shango devotee. Same way, when you see Iroke Ifa in the hands of a person, you know that this is a Babalawo, a disciple of Oromila. Now, this very cute guy you're looking at is who we call Eshu, the much misunderstood Eshu. Eshu la lu o giri uko. Or as some argue, Eshu la lu o kiri uko. All of this we shall be examining in this series. But Eshu is placed here in this section of Ifa because between Eshu and Oromila, there is a very unique connection, very unique relationship. Ifa and Eshu have very unique relationships and that's why wherever you see a Babalawo, you must see with him Eshu. In the house of every Babalawo is always a shrine of Eshu or shrines of Eshu. So these are some of the many things we will be examining in this series. Things like Eroa to Keshu or things like Ebo. What exactly is Ebo? But what we shall be mainly examining in this video, what we shall be studying mainly, is the use of Ikeinfa, the 16 sacred palm knot. Those of us who study theater in Nigeria, especially in the Yoruba land, will be familiar with the song I'm about to sing now. The song goes, Okete, Bayini Ware. Okete o bayi ni ware o o ba fa mule o da fa o ba fa mule o da fa o. It's a song I used to sing a lot. I enjoyed singing it so much. I've always sang that song. I enjoyed singing it a lot, but I never really understood what I was singing until very recently. That song is actually talking about Ikinifa. The song says, Okete, Bayini Ware, Obaifa Mule, Odaifa. The Ifa there is Ikinifa, the 16 sacred palm knots. Okete is a 
rodents is a very weird animal in the rat family, capable of doing very strange things. As small as that animal is, it can actually crack the palm nuts and eat the kernel inside. By doing so, he has betrayed Ifa, which has kept it alive. So that is why the song says, you enter into a covenant with Ifa and then you betray Ifa. The Ifa there, as I have said, is referring to Ikinfa, which we'll be talking about extensively today. In this video, like I said earlier, we want to examine, we want to demonstrate how Ikinfa is used for Ifa divination. The sacred palm knot to be used must be 16 in number, and that is so for a reason. In Ifa, we have what we call Oju Odu, and then there is Amulu Odu. There are 256 Odu in Ifa. The first 16 amongst them are the ones we call Oju Odu, the primordial ones, the major ones, the most important ones. So the palm knot must be 16 in number, no more, no less. If there are more or less than 16, the Amulu Odu will be affected. The Amulu Odu are also what we call the Omo Odu. And they simply are the 240 possibilities that we can get from the 16 major Oju Odu. How is this Ikinfa used for Ifa divination many, many centuries ago? Ikinfa, by the way, is like the ancestor of all Ifa divination systems that we have today and has been existing for centuries. It's way older than even the Okbele. So now, how does the Babalawu use the Ikinfa? the 16 sacred palm knots for Ifadida. Ifadida is the act and art of Ifa divination, consulting Ifa. And by the way, Ababalawo is an Ifa priest, a disciple of Orumila. More to come about the Babalawo in this series. The Babalawo puts all of the Ikinfa in one hand and then tries to pack it all with the other hand. The palm knots are always bigger in size than this, but I'm only improvising with these ones. So given the big size of the palm knots, the Babalao will not be able to pack it all at the same time. It won't be able to pack it all at once. There will always be a few ones remaining, either one or two or even more. And you know there are other factors like the size of the Babalao's hand too. So that line in Ifa says, Tobalu Tobabu, Tobaku Meji, or Koniote, Tobaku Kon, Ejiniote, Te Conteji, Lante Falo Tu Fe. The Babala will put the palm knot in his hands like this, and then he shakes it like this to randomize the whole thing. And then he tries to pack it all with all of his hands. There will always be one or two remaining, like I have said. If there are two knots remaining, the Babala will print one stroke on the upper ifa. If there is one remaining, he prints two strokes on the upper ifa. He does it like that, four times on the right and then four times on the left for the Odu to be revealed. Let us go about that now. Babala Walu Awabu. Listen. Now there are two knots remaining, which means Babala will print one stroke on the upper ifa. He does it again, and then this is one stroke remaining. He prints two stroke here. He does it again, and then this is three. If there are three knots remaining or four knots remaining, those are not counted. Those are what we call null and void. It must be either one or two. So he does it here again on the right side. This is three, so we're not going to count it. He does it again. This is three again. We're not going to count it. He does it again. This is one. The Babala will print two strokes. Here, he does it again, nothing. Three, nothing. This is one, so he's going to print two, two strokes here. Now we are done with the right side. Four prints on this side. So we'll move on to the left side of the divination tray now. Babala watun shibo tishen shibo. Tobalu, tobabu, tobaku kon, ateji, tobaku meji. Nothing. Two, which means one stroke, right? One, which means two strokes. 
Now the Odu is revealed. So we'll move on to the second stage of the Fadida. Each of these Odu have their names. This one on the right is Oduobara. This one on the left is Oduose. Two of them combined is one Amulu Odu. It has its own verse, it has its own essay, and its own oriki. Babala Otoba Bofa Yoron Yoron Lotu Fe. Baratu Dune Baja de Bai. Abere Siniki. And it is through that that he gets the message. If I would direct him into telling the client what to do. Eboniki won runio, it is niki won shinio, ba y ko ba yini, if I would toss or no, because the Babala who has seen the odu. Two of these odu, you can call it maybe Obara or she. It has its own verse. The Babalao begins to recite that verse, and that will guide the Babalao into what the next um, step to take. In any one penny, ki Babalao buffer, Babalao dio buffer, Abere cinema woke kiri, Konimo dio she, no one will so be I buffer la woke, if I con cynic para. If what we have on the right is exactly the same as what we have on the left, that is an odu odu. But that rarely happens. And when it does, the Babala will consider those moments very, very special. Now, if the odu on the right is different from the one we have on the left, like this one, that is what we call amulu odu. I hope your understanding of Eva divination has improved after watching this video. Catch me in the next one where we shall be explaining how okbele is used. If you think this has been interesting so far, just wait till we get into the Okbele. Thank you so very much for watching the video. Do not forget to subscribe, to share this video so that it can reach many more people and are going to get improved just as you have. Till then, of course, wash <laughs>